What's going on guys? Welcome on back to the vlog. A few weeks ago, I got a new vlog camera as you guys probably know by now. It is the Sony ZV-E10 and I love this camera, man. Like it is genuinely so much fun to vlog with. I love it. But I've noticed in a handful of my shots throughout the last couple of vlogs, the image quality just kind of falls apart. And I think it's because this lens doesn't let enough light in. This is the Sony 10-20 to f4 lens that I'm using right now. Image quality kind of looks like a cell phone to me, so I think we gotta fix that. So, I got a new package. I got a new vlog lens that we're gonna swap out. This is the Sony 11mm f1.8 lens, so I can't optically zoom with it like I can with this one, but it's also super small and compact. It's honestly a little smaller than this one even, so I might like it better for vlogging that way, but the f1.8 means it's gonna let a lot more light into the lens, so when I'm in shots like this where it's a little darker, hopefully it won't look as grainy and noisy and not look like crap. So I'm gonna swap over to this thing right now and let's see how it looks. Well, what do you guys think? How does it look? From what I'm seeing, it looks so much better. Like, holy crap. I'm like actually impressed with how good this camera looks now. And yeah, I do have a much blurrier background with this lens because it lets a lot more light in. So it kind of gives that cinematic vibe, which a lot of people like. But when I'm vlogging, I honestly don't really like a super blurry background, but the image quality is so good. I could care less. Like this is awesome. And I can technically zoom digitally a little bit, which that's more than enough. I'm stoked. We got a new vlog lens. Let's go. I've also been using this camera as my stream camera, which looks absolutely amazing when I'm live. It looks so good, but I have had it overheat on me a few times, but I recently fixed that. Let me show you. Last week, I bought this tiny little fan off of Amazon. It's completely silent. You don't hear it at all. And there's a little clip and I ended up clipping it to my monitor arm. You can see it back there a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. It's tucked away, but it blows right onto where I mount this camera. And I have streamed a few times now and no overheating issues at all anymore. Oh yeah, and I had to unfortunately take off the bottom part of the barn doors on this light so the actual airflow would make it to the camera. So it looks a little goofy right now, but I really do like these barn doors. I don't know if I ever want to get rid of them just because it makes my setup so unique compared to other people's. So I just went back and watched the footage that I just filmed with this camera when I swapped between these two lenses. And holy crap, man, <laughs> this lens is insane. Like it looks just as good as my old full frame cameras that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. This is honestly like the best vlogging setup of all time. I am absolutely returning this 10 to 20 millimeter lens. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Just wrapped up an awesome week of streams. I was playing the Exifying beta all week long, which was really, really nice to get back to FPSs because I've been only doing like single player games for the most part for like the last three months, which I've been loving by the way, like an awesome year for games. I have too many games to play, honestly, especially single player games, but it was really nice going back to FPSs, which is like kind of my home base. And because we were doing an FPS week, it just felt right wearing like esports jerseys. So I was rocking my 100 Thieves one earlier and now. I recently got this OTK game day jersey, which is really, really cool. It's actually surprisingly nice. Like, good job, OTK. And I know they're not an actual, like, esports team, but it still feels cool rocking my favorite org in an actual jersey. But there's something about gaming in an actual jersey. Like, I know it's not real sports or whatnot, but it just feels good. Speaking of esports and X Defiant, I am so hopeful that that game takes off. And... I don't, I'm honestly like, I don't know if it is or not because I know when I was playing it, like especially the first day of this open beta, I didn't look at Twitter or Reddit or anything and I was having such a good time. And I had so many people in my stream saying all the other streamers that were playing it on the first day were just loving it. Like I was having such a good time. Like one of my favorite games I've played in a very, very long while, but I got offline, ended stream, was feeling so good about it. And then got on Twitter and Reddit and everyone's just shitting on it. And I'm like, what? Like, 
Where's, like, what happened? I don't understand. And it really just reminded me of how negative the gaming community can be at times. Like, I know everyone's always asking themselves these days of, do games just suck now or am I getting older? And I think there is a little bit of truth that games are getting rushed out the doors these days for a lot of the times, but I'm genuinely convinced that it's not just that we're getting older, it's that we have social media now. Like, in this example, I loved X to Find, especially after the first day, and I was so happy I was expecting to see everyone raving about it, and then I go online and I see people saying, this sucked, this sucked, this sucked, and all of a sudden it almost creeped in my own head of like, you know what, I guess technically you're kind of right, like that could be better. It almost ruined the experience for me throughout the streams the rest of the week of playing the game, because then I like kind of have that like negative thing in my head, so I think I'm going to try my best now, which is really hard, me being a social media online creator, <laughs> but like I'm going to try my best to not get my opinions swayed nearly as much from random people on the internet that are just looking to be miserable. Bronte and I are out and about enjoying the nice summer weather right now. We're along the river just hanging out, but I'm really trying my best to get out as much as I possibly can this summer and, you know, not do gamer things like I always do and stay inside. And I don't know why, but I've been really enjoying summer these last couple of years. I think for that exact reason, the more that I make content and game and stuff, I'm literally inside 24 seven. So for some reason, I used to hate summer, but now I love it. But I'm also really sad because technically summer just started a few days ago, but in my mind, that's like the peak of summer because that's the longest day of the year and now all days are going to get shorter and shorter. Is anyone else like that or is that just me? Okay, made it back home and I realized I forgot to tell you guys that earlier this week, I had my biggest stream ever of all time. During the first day of the X Defiant beta, I was averaging over 50 viewers without any sort of raids or anything, which is mind blowing to me. I know that doesn't sound like a crazy amount of viewers to a lot of people, but if you've ever tried live streaming yourself and you started at zero viewers, getting out of that like zero to 10 viewer range is so hard. Like I streamed for years and years consistently, like hundreds of streams on Twitch and barely ever broke double digit viewership. Like it is just near impossible to get discovered on that platform. And I'm sure you could look at that and just say, oh, well, maybe you're just a bad streamer. And I've gotten plenty of those comments before that, oh, you're just, you'll never make it. You're not a good streamer. That's why you're stuck below 10 average viewers. But the fact that within two to three months of me switching over to YouTube on a platform that has actual discoverability for live streams, that I've already gone to a point where I'm averaging over 50 viewers just feels really fucking good. And while that may have only been like one awesome stream so far on YouTube, I gained like 25 new subs from that stream alone and my average viewership in the next couple of streams was higher than it was before. Long story short, I'm just feeling really, really good right now and all this hard work I've done for the last handful of years is starting to get a little bit of momentum. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below on what games you wanna see me stream next and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.